Shout out to Crafton, man. They, these guys came through and bought Tango Gameworks, so the High Fire Rush IP is saved, and a lot of other games under that umbrella as well. It's pretty cool. So um, I want to get into that. I want to talk about that and give you my thoughts and opinions because this game and others was pretty much thought to be dead in the water after Xbox did what they did. And uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions. So if you found this video through your uh, recommendations, I appreciate you clicking on this video and giving this video a shot. If you don't mind, uh, hang around. Would you like to subscribe? I would love it if you did. Like the video, share the video, and let people know what we're doing over here. This is the VF Cast channel where we talk about gaming and everything under that umbrella. And uh, hopefully you subscribe and help this channel grow. I really would appreciate it. All right, let's just get into this. Full disclosure, full disclosure. I have not played High Fire Rush. Now, other games under the Tango Game Works, I have played. I played Evil Within. Uh, I have not started Evil Within 2. I do have Ghostwire Tokyo, but that's a part of the backlog as well. And I noticed that High Fire Rush is now on sale on Steam right now at 40%. So I will be buying that game as soon as this video is over and put it along with the other backlog. Uh, so I have a lot of games I've been playing lately, and some games just need to come to the forefront. And High Fire Rush, I put it off for too long. So that needs to be done. Also, these, these games basically were dead in the water. Xbox got rid of them earlier this year, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen with this uh, IP. It was a critically acclaimed, you know, uh, game. It was a critically acclaimed game, and it had best animation at the BAFTA Games Awards, you know, best audio design at the Game Awards, and, you know, game developer's choice for best audio. I mean, even though the audio, they talk about that a lot, but it was a really good game. You know, a lot of people liked it and it made money for Xbox. So you would have thought that they would have kept this game. Now, on top of that, the Resident Evil 4 spiritual successor, Evil Within, was actually a really good game as well. I had I bought and played that game, the first one. I haven't played the second one, but that game was really good as well. And I thought that this could be a series that kept be keep going. But what happened with, you know, Xbox, but you know, you just didn't know what was going on. But these games are, have been picked up by Crafton and shout out to Crafton. Uh, these guys have done, you know, great work, you know, as far as this acquisition. And this is one of the, you know, seem like one of the better stories of 2024 when it comes to gaming. You hear all this stuff going around with people getting laid off. I just did a video about that. Games being delayed. Games aren't, you know, as good as they used to be. But you hear a feel good story like this where, I just talked about four games from High Fire Rush, Evil Within 1 and 2, and Ghostwire Tokyo. Those four games are actually pretty decent games, and we thought they were going to be, you know, long gone and dead, and you just could buy them, and uh, there won't be no continuation of them. But I'm almost certain with Crafting picking up High Fire Rush, there's going to be a sequel to that. I would like to see a, a, a Evil Within 3. Um, Ghostwire Tokyo, which I've heard good things about, um, I have it in my Epic uh, catalog, and I have in my library, and I haven't picked, I haven't played it yet. But I heard some good things about th that game, too. So those are four games that I can, you know, well, at least three out of the four that I can add to my backlog and finish up and play. But like I said, uh, High Fire Rush is on sale right now. I'm going to buy that, you know, immediately after I get off of this. I mean, for, you know, I think like, what, $23 for the entire package? You can't beat that, you know. So I'm going to jump on that. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, I, I don't have much else to say, but I just think this is a really good situation really big deal that this all of these games are still being you know being picked up and xbox did what they did and it didn't you know they left a bad taste in everybody's mouth and xbox is still kind of reeling from all the backlash that they've been doing so far this year and that was just added to the to the whole situation but now crafting picks them up out of california i want to see what these guys are going to do i think i think this is going to be really cool probably within the next year or uh, year and a half we'll probably have a sequel to high fire rush don't know what's going to happen to the other games but i'm rooting for them and i'm going to you know support them in kind by buying high fire rush and you know and like i said i have all the other games already i think i have even within two if i don't i'll probably buy that too because i mean i want to see games like this continue to get better all of these games are basically you know like uh they're, they're like original ips you know they're like creative works this is not nothing that's you know necessarily uh a carbon copy or something i mean you could say evil within is for is for what it is because resident evil 4 but evil within at the end of the day was still uh you know uh it was unique in its own right so 
I would like to see how that goes. So let me know what y'all think. I'm not going to keep y'all up too much longer on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback in the comment section because I will definitely will respond. And I'm going to go buy Hi-Fi Rush. I'm definitely going to buy that. It is 40% off on Steam. And uh, if you haven't, you should do the same because yeah, I've been slipping. Don't be like me. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.